Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. And, uh, well, we had some pretty big issues in the previous episode. We were taken prisoner and we were scraping along the bottom of the barrel pretty considerably. But uh, hopefully we're going to be able to get back on our feet here and be able to complete our next task. Bear in mind that that task requires me to go into a piece of territory that is mostly ruled by the looks of things by a bunch of of mountain bandits and I gotta say I'm not a big fan of mountain bandits some of them actually do come equipped with mail and things so I'm a bit worried about that and I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be able to do relatively well there at all so I will err on the side of caution a little bit in regards to dealing with them and as you can see ah, can I can I can I can I murder him yes I can oh are you still you're still alive I'm I'm extremely surprised. I thought he was dead. I thought all of my guys dealt with uh, dealt with the enemies, but apparently not. <laughs> I actually had two Sturgeon warriors as well. I would have expected them to actually do quite well there, but apparently not. Uh, but we do have a couple of Sturgeon peasants, I suppose, which we are able to then recruit. And we do have a couple of upgrades that we can also do, which is not too bad. And we now have 446 gold. We can loot all of this, which is actually quite nice because we do have some more food and everything. And I think I'm probably going to go over here. Oh, more loot. Yeah, more looters. Uh, Olek, come over here, Olek. Help me out, please. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's running after those guys. Okay, so I'm just going to run after these fellows. And I'm actually wanting to speak to Oleg because he has a, uh, well, not a quest for us, but he has some information about the item that we picked up in the first episode from the merchant, if you recall. Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to speak to him and then we can move away from this area uh, with his assistance. Because if I uh, if I leave his side, I'm more than likely going to get preyed upon by a huge amount of different kinds of bandits, and that would not be too good. Anyway, what can you tell me about the Battle of Pendrick? A victory won by my father, claimed by Ragnvad. Old King Vadenslav was brave enough. He led us all into battle. I stood at my father's side as we faced the Imperials eye to eye over the tops of our shields. It was like any battle where shield walls meet, thrust and push, struggling to stay on your feet, but you can't really describe it. Let's just say it's the kind of battle that Sturgeons usually win. When the Imperials had had enough of us, they broke and ran for the ramparts. There they threw darts and rocks and their cursed fire. We had to go up ladders one by one. Vadenslav was hit by a mace and went down. My father then went up, cleaving as he went, and rallied us and led us to victory. My father took the imperial dragon banner from dead Noretzis's hands. It's a famous story. And then the little prince Ragnvad tried to claim it. My father broke it over his knee, threw it at him, and told him to get his own toys to play with. Ha! Huh. It was a good, good day. All right, well, apparently he had a good time. He had a good time, the other guy not so much. Alright, so I've got to be a bit careful here because as you can see there are also sea raiders in the area. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to shadow Olek for the moment. And uh, that's it. <laughs> that's my plan. I will just shadow him a little bit and uh, we'll see if we can uh, see if we can maybe... Uh, yeah, look at that. So this is another thing that uh, the developers actually did mention. Every single Lord is going to do the exact same thing that you, the player, is able to do as well, which is, in other words, go to villages and recruit troops. And that's exactly what he just did. He just gained 11 troops. Unfortunately, I've already recruited from this particular village, so unfortunately I will not be able to do anything here. But because they do have a little bit of cash, I should be able to sell a few things. There we go, 73 gold, not exactly great, but I will just continue to shadow him just a little bit, and uh, we're, we're just going to kind of go along to the same villages that he's going along to, and we're just going to recruit units from there at the same time. I've already been to this one, haven't I? Great. Isn't that always the way of things? It's just like, literally, the one time where I actually do get a little bit lucky, and I actually do get to shadow a guy, and uh, have him protect me, basically. Uh, then I just I, I don't have any uh, I don't have any troops to recruit. I might be able to recruit some from here. He's going down there. This is a looted village. I doubt he's going to be able to loot from here. 
because as you can see it is still looted so yeah I don't know what he's doing now but I'm gonna go back to the town maybe we can actually do something back there and we'll see if we can recruit some people now I've already recruited from there too I guess I will just wait here for some time until some recruits become available all right, so I thought we might try our hand at the board game once again. And I'm going to be black this time around instead of white because I was the other way around before. So let's have a look and see. Okay, so he's he's going first this time around. So we probably want to make a good move here. So let's see what kind of move can I make. Hmm, that one, I guess. Okay... Let's just try and think a little bit here. So if I do this, that is fine. That's actually pretty good. So if we do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We're actually doing all right. Ah, that was a double. That was really, really bad. Okay. Yeah, I think he's definitely, he's definitely got me in more ways than one, I think. But I might be able to... Maybe I can do something here. He can't do anything about that there. Uh, yes, double. Nice. Oh, there's another double. Okay, yeah, he's got me, I'm pretty sure. From that particular double jump right there, he's definitely got me, I think. That is a shame. Uh... Yeah, yeah, he's got me. If only I had another double jump right now. That would be really nice. But uh, yeah, he's definitely finished this up. Yep, there you go. Yeah, that guy, he's, he's actually really good. He's actually really, really good. All right. Well, that was not for money or anything like that, but I was just wanting to try my luck because you never know. It might actually be something that we could use to earn a little bit of extra cash. And I'm pretty sure that if you're good at that kind of game, you're probably going to have a pretty easy time of things. Anyway, let's just ransom my prisoners real quick. And I did take uh, another recruit from here. I was actually going into the tavern initially because I thought that there might be some more recruits in there, uh, like some mercenaries or something like that. I thought that might be a thing, but uh, no such luck. So instead, I'm just going to go over here and uh, maybe we can try and recruit from the Batanian village. Oh, hello, looters. I'm going to try and attack you, if at all possible, because those guys, they will have something for me, no doubt. Ah, more looters. Great. Yeah, I really wish I was much faster on the world map. I definitely need to do that. Definitely need to start getting some more, uh, whatever the equivalent of pathfinding is. That would be very advantageous. And I'm just thankful that we have a couple of people with shields. We've got one person with a shield. But I've got a whole bunch of Sturgeon Warriors, don't I? No, I've only got one. Okay, well that makes sense then, I suppose. Twelve enemies to fight. Let's put them let's put my guys all up here. And I will see if I can maybe do some damage to the initial units coming up. Oh nice. There we go. Nice hit. And there's another nice hit. That's not so good. Oh, nice. Oh, I killed one of my own guys. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think you probably can, can't you? Okay, well, at least we're... Oh, we murdered all those guys. Fantastic. Very good. Ugh. Yes. Don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me about my terrible playing. Ah. Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. As long as we, as long as we win this... Ow. Well, we won. But uh, I did get myself killed slightly. But there you go. That's a little bit more renown. You know, every little bit of renown is going to help us. And we got some, uh, we got some people right there. And we got some more loot, which is always nice. And we are near to the Batanian uh, village as well. And the castle, which is definitely going to be required for me to go in there. And we do have a couple of people that actually did level up. So they can level up into Watchmen. Yeah, these are really not worth it. Because obviously they're leveling up from peasants. I do need to get recruits, actual recruits. That would make much more sense. So let me actually just see here if there's anything. No, but I can wait here for some time, which is exactly what I want to do. 
All right, so, uh, yeah. Remember how I said that uh, everything was running very, very well and uh, I was having no performance problems whatsoever? Well, it crashed, yeah. It, it actually did crash. And, uh, yeah, that, I mean, you know, early access, it's going to happen every so often, so nothing really to worry about there. As I am now going to be fighting these looters and hopefully getting to the next level of throwing weapon proficiency because that means I will be able to take the next trait, which is going to be super fun. And hopefully I'll be able to do it. Ow. There we go. Yes, nice damage. Okay, come on, guys. Charge. Charge them. You will be murdered. Yes, there we are. Yes, very nice. Oh, I love... You know, I gotta say, they've done an amazing job putting in huge amounts of effort to the death animations. I know that that seems like kind of a weird thing to put effort into, but these death animations, I, I can't even... I can't even tell uh, which ones are uh, which ones I've seen and which ones I haven't because there are just so many. You know, uh, every one seems to have a some kind of uniqueness to it, which is just absolutely insane. Anyway, because of the crash, unfortunately, that meant that I got rolled back a bit, and as a result, I can't actually remember what I did. So I'm actually here, as you can see. I'm on my way to the uh, Batanian area. I think I think you saw that. Uh, beforehand and we actually had a fight against someone large or something like that and we we survived just barely and I think that's exactly uh, where we are currently are at least a little bit so I'm going to increase my Sturgeon Warrior count right here and we got some looters over there as well gonna just go over here oh wow yeah okay no let's not go over there let's go into the castle real quick and we're just gonna wait here a little bit of time just to see if someone comes along where I can maybe uh, <laughs> I can maybe be a little bit sneaky and try and uh, shadow them a little bit. Now, bear in mind that the uh, sheep quest that I was attempting to do beforehand, that is no longer available because uh, I took so long. And uh, obviously that is to be expected considering I theoretically, should have been able to go and deliver that really, really easily and very, very quickly. But unfortunately, obviously, I had some complications. Let's just say they're, they're complications, you know, instead of just being murdered all over the place. So now that I can sell these sheep, that's pretty good, you know. I can actually just sell them, and I don't even have to worry about them anymore. So I can just sell them for 300. Oh, that's very nice. We actually have 302 in total, I'm actually going to buy some grain because it's so incredibly cheap at the uh, at the village, and then we're going to move on. And we could we could attack those guys, but I do want to head over to uh, Sturgeon lands. Now, bear in mind that uh, the Sturgeons they are very reminiscent of the Nords for me in Warband because they do have the. Uh, snowy territory. I know that the Vagiers in uh, in Warband also had snowy territory, but I'm talking about the Sea Raiders mostly, because it seems to me like Sturgeon territory is a hive of Sea Raiders. They are everywhere when you go up there. Oh dear. That's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of problematic. I'm gonna try and see how much can I offer. 149 to get away. I'm actually happy to uh, to pay that. I'm pretty happy with 149 to escape. I think that's quite good. So let's just get away from there. But yeah, as I've said, there's a huge amount of sea raiders in this area. A lot of mountain bandits as well. Mountain bandits are very dangerous, as I've said. And Sturgeon recruits. Yeah, let's get some more of those. And I still have 593 gold, which is actually very nice. Oh, four mountain bandits. I could theoretically try and attack these. Ah, there's the quest timeout. Yeah, okay, so you, you didn't actually see that before, but uh, the quest did timeout in the previous save, because obviously I had a crash, and obviously I'm not able to show you that anymore. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's see if I can... Can I wait here at, uh, for some time, actually? Yes, I can. I can actually wait here for some time. That's great. Okay, so let's recruit some more units. And then let's wait here until midnight and then we can actually speak to the poachers finally and it seems like we have gotten back on our feet at least a little bit and uh, that is exactly what we wanted so let's see there we go and now we can talk to the leader of the poachers and hopefully we can settle this 
relatively peacefully. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Okay, so let's have a look. 74% and 59%, so exactly the same as they were last time. So let's try this. Success. Okay, great. That actually worked. And we will try this as well. Success. Yeah, there we go. We actually did it. Fantastic. So there we go. The log has been updated and we have increased our relation with uh, that fellow. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, so now I've got to get out of here. And that's it. So it was just about increasing my relation. Are you serious? Come on now. Anyway, as you can see, my renown is only nine away from being 50, which is actually really nice. And let me see if I can maybe do something here. Uh, I'd like to try and see if I can maybe do do battle with someone relatively large. Maybe we should try another tournament because I'm actually kind of I'm actually kind of thinking that I might do quite well next time around because I seem to do a little bit better each time. There is just a practice fight available. I'm actually wondering whether I get any money for the practice fight. I don't think so. Oh no, I actually do. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Watch me get headshot from across the map again. Yes. That, that can happen, will happen, and uh, will definitely happen again, that's for sure. Alright, so hello. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be a bit careful here. Okay. Oh, murdered! You murdered that fellow. Like no one's business. Yes, there we go. Take him out. Oh, you know, it feels much more realistic, I guess you could say. The combat. Take him out. There we go. And, oh, no, I wanted to kill that guy. I wanted to steal that guy's kill. Oh, did you see that? That guy threw an axe at me and he completely failed. Because that's, that, that's just what I would do, you know. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I would do. Okay, uh, I could technically... Um, I could pick up his spear, but I'm pretty awful with spears. So I'm probably not going to do... Oh, probably not going to do that. Hello. Okay. Oh, no, I'm being shot from the side. Ah, no, I got killed by that guy. Yeah, actually, he was behind me. So that's what happened. But there you go. I actually earned a prize of five gold. <laughs> ah. I did okay, I guess, but yeah, you, so you can actually get money for going into the arena as well, for going into the uh, the practice fights and everything, so there is also that. So, now that we have some money, I could, I mean, yeah, I could theoretically do the uh, illegal work, shall we say. That might be a little bit fun to do. So, let me just sell a little bit of something there, and let's see whether we can actually fence some goods. Personally, I feel like fencing the goods is probably one of the best earning quests in the game at the moment, because as long as you have a little bit of extra cash... Oh, do you need some help? How can I help? 507 gold. Oh, this is actually kind of fantastic. So yeah, I will pay 488 for that. Now, we are going to be approached, of course, by a merchant. They're going to say, hey, you know, what are you doing here? Please give back, you, you know, the stolen goods and so on and so forth. And we're going to be like, no, thank you. I would like some money. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to give me 390, but this is none of your business, merchant. Your criminal rating with Sergio has increased by 2 to 16. Yeah, so bear in mind that your criminal rating does appear to go down over time. Because I haven't done anything to it, and it seems to be reducing itself, uh, you know, just just naturally. So that's actually quite nice. Hello, Mountain Bandits. Do you want to fight me? No, now you don't want to fight, huh? Yeah, now you're not chasing me anymore. Okay, so let me just see. I want to go to Sionan at the moment. Sea Raiders, do you want to fight? They could probably they could probably take me. Let's face it. They could probably take me. Okay. So I've got some prisoners. Uh, got a lot of recruits, haven't I? Yeah. Mm, we might have some issues with these looters. Or not, as the case may be. That's actually fine. And let's go up here. Yeah, because what I would like to do is sell what I currently have. And then we're going to have some decent money. We're actually going to have some decent money. And, ah, you hear at least the wronged with whom you got separated after a battle has been cited in this settlement. Fantastic. Great. So that means I will be able to go into the tavern and get her in just a second. So I'm just going to go here and just sell the velvet that I can. So let's actually sell a little bit, because bear in mind that the price is going dramatically down. 
So we're just going to sell a couple of those. And then we will go to the tavern. And uh, we'll see if there's a ransom broker as well. Because I do have a couple of looters in my prisoner's hold that I might be able to sell. Okay, where where is she? Is that her? Yes, hello there. Captain, it's been a while. Yes, it has. Uh, please join my party, as you wish. All right, so there you go. Nice. That is fantastic. So we have gained one of our companions back. There's actually an upstairs. Look at the graphics. Look at these. Look at look at the lighting and everything. You know, I, I every time I come into a tavern or any kind of an in, indoor environment and there's lighting and torches and things, I always think to myself, this is a Mountain Blade game. You know, this is actually a Mountain Blade game. Can you believe it? And, uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm saying it's not an Unreal Engine game or anything like that, because, of course, it's not going to be, you know. It has to have huge amounts of troops on the battlefield all the time, and uh, you can't, you know, you can't overstress the, the engine with huge amounts of things going on. But anyway, let's have a look and see how much this guy's going to pay. He's going to pay five, so it's exactly the same as if I were to sell these to the regular tavern area. So that is absolutely fine. No problem at all. Okay, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So Lisa's now joined me. Who's Volfia the fish? Ah, okay. So this guy's going to be a... Uh, he, he's definitely going to be a companion. But unfortunately, I don't have enough money to be able to uh, recruit him. Anyway, he says, His cousins came for me to take me to judgment. I would have gone willingly. I would have paid, paid blood money, actually. Gladly. But one of them laid hands on me and a blank rage came over me. And I killed two of them too. I didn't want to kill them either. That was that. I could pay blood money for one man, but not three. I fled. I cannot return. Sounds like you had no choice. If the choice I had been mine... Uh, if the choice had been mine, I would have never hurt anyone. I would live on my land, eat what I had grown, marry and have children. But the heavens have decreed that I should eat by shedding other men's blood. In the city, rich men pay me well for that. Oh, so he's like an assassin of some kind. That's actually really cool. By the way, you can actually move around the uh, the camera while you're in a conversation as well, which I also think is really cool. Anyway, I can use someone like you in my company. Oh, yeah, 700. Very expensive. And what about this guy? Ha! Huh. Batanian armed traders. No, I'm not going to recruit you for the moment. I think you're a little bit too expensive for my liking. So let's just leave for the moment and... I'm hoping that there might be some additional... No, there is no no other uh, additional things to do here. Ah, no, there might be. Hello? Okay, fencing stolen goods. I have 452. I might have enough to be able to take some more stolen goods. This would be absolutely insane if I'm able to pull this off. Because if we can continue to do this over and over and over again by going to different taverns and things, or, or shall we say different towns, then we might have... Yeah, we don't have enough money to be able to do this. But that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to go to the trade area, and we're just going to sell a couple more pieces of velvet just to get another 200 gold. Then I should have enough. So let's see what she actually wants to give us. Okay. Stash of stolen goods. Five loads of velvet. Okay, more velvet. 458? Didn't I just pay 450 for 13 of those things? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't do that right now. I don't think that's a good deal. Even though it's stolen goods, I don't think that's a good deal personally. So I'm going to go to the next town over and we'll see if we can maybe find something over there. And uh, I have 19 in my army right now, so I think we should be pretty good to deal with most enemies. And I think we should probably try to start leveling them up a little bit. Aha! Kiroslava is here. Fantastic. So let's go and speak to her straight away. And I let, actually, I can just add her to the party straight up. This guy is also a companion as well, by the way. So we can just talk to him straight from the menu. I don't even have to go into the tavern first, which is actually really awesome. Hello there. Pull up a chair, friend. You'll be glad you asked. I could tell you of all my deeds, and you'd never believe me. But you know, if you'd met me a year back, I could have taken you to my hall sometime and shown you them. Shown you my deeds, you heard that. I do things in the old way, and so whenever an enemy falls to my spear, I take their head. Let's see. I have Brechtan the old, Lamech the lame. Don't let the names fool you. 
these were great warriors. Arkan the bull, so many others. A true Batanian never boasts because his deeds are hung over the hearth for all to see. At least that's the way it used to be. Ah, he's a, rhyme, a rhyming fellow. A little bit. A lot of heads, you can imagine. A lot of other warriors were envious of me. Some in my village even conspired against me, had me expelled. I lost my hall and I had to bury the heads. I doubt you could recognize them any more. What a pity, eh? A collection like that will never be seen again. All right, so let's see uh, how much he's going to be. Whoa, okay, hello. He, ha he, he is literally almost 1,900. That is a pretty crazy amount. I'm going to hire a thug. Yes, join me, Mr. Thug Man. It is time for the thug life. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'll let myself out. Literally, because I'm leaving the tavern. Very good. Okay, so I could technically trade some more velvet here, so I think I'm probably going to do that. Let's trade down to... Wow, this is actually much better than the previous town. Seems like the other town has a lot of velvet for sale, I think, and that's probably the reason why I didn't get a very good deal on stuff. So it's nice that I was actually able to find something here. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Select shields and range, because what I would like is to maybe find, hmm, stack amount three, I would like to find some stack amount five, that might actually be quite fun, because this does 96 piercing damage, this does 113 piercing damage, whoa, okay, hello, join me, join me, yes, join me harpoons. That is going to be super fun to use. All right. So let's uh, let's equip these. There we go. Oh my. Harpoons. Not used these ever. So that's going to be quite fun. What about these? Can she use sim simple javelins? Uh, I don't know whether she has relatively good anything. But actually, you know what? I'm going to give Kiroslava a couple of thrown weapons as well. Because no doubt she's going to be pretty good at using them as well. So, okay. Now that we're basically back to full strength, what I'm going to do is we're going to move on back to Sturgeon territory, but not all the way back. I want to go back to Omor. I think that Omor is going to be the... Oh, hello. Only seven? Uh, I don't really want to fight seven, although maybe fighting them is actually not that bad because we do gain renown for it and everything. Anyway, let's just zoom out here real quick. Yeah, I'd like to go back to Omor. As you can see, thick. Whoa. Did I just miss that? Or has. Uh, has Sturgia always had a huge amount of towns and everything? I think they did, actually. I think they've always had that amount. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Apparently, uh, the looters found me. The looters definitely found me. And this is going to be a pretty. Pretty interesting fight, because I do have some harpoons now, and these harpoons are going to be extremely damaging. I'm probably going to be able to kill one looter per shot if I can actually hit them. So I should be in pretty a pretty decent time. So yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna just wait here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move back a little bit more because I don't really want to run across the river when they're shooting at us with rocks and so on and so forth, because no doubt that's going to slow us down by a pretty considerable margin. So if I can maybe prevent that from happening, that would be good. So otherwise, I don't really, uh, I don't really fancy my chances here, to be honest. My, by myself, that is. So I'm just going to leave my people in this kind of formation. And I'm going to do some damage from range. Hopefully I can hit them from here. No. Yes. Oh, <laughs> kill. <laughs> instant kill. Oh, instant kill. Okay, yes, hello. This is the looter slayer. I am reporting for duty. <laughs> oh, so fun. All right. Yeah, that is hilariously fun. Oh, even in the leg, even in the leg, it does so much damage. Wow, that is insane. Okay, yeah, so the enemies are fleeing, like completely fleeing, actually. And that is it. That is indeed a victory. 3.2 renown, 2.1 morale, harpoon power. Yes, and we plundered 566 gold. How do we get so much? I guess it's because there were so many enemies, but wow. 
I, uh, I can't believe it. I actually think that uh, I had no idea that that was going to happen. I really thought that uh, they were going to do quite a bit of damage to us, but no. No, we actually uh, fought back quite well. All right, let's see if there's anything else here for me. Doesn't seem like it. Arm wraps are basically the same. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go over to Lysia because we can give her a helmet, finally. And we might be able to get her a better weapon because you can see here that this is actually pretty good. It's got a decent length as well, so I don't think she really needs anything to replace that. The pickaxe is actually quite nice. It's got good handling. That's also a thing that you've got to, you've got to bear in mind that all weapons have some kind of handling and that can make a big difference in how effective they actually turn out to be. Uh, what? Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to be... Can I take your leather gloves? I'm so sorry, Kirislava. I really am. I really don't want to steal your leather gloves, but I feel like I kind of need them because I am dying <laughs> so incredibly badly. Okay, so there you go. She's wearing those now. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad about that, but I kind of have to do it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to take anything else from her. And oh, she needs arm wraps as well. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're looking pretty good. She does need a shield. So I will definitely do that next time I get into a town. We're actually really close by. Oh, these guys are actually running away from us. So we could technically attack them. Shall we try to attack them? Yeah, they trap themselves. They trap themselves. That's what we like to see. All right. You'll never take us alive. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Actually, um, maybe not because you might be impaled by a harpoon relatively soon. That might very well happen. But uh, yeah. I am loving these harpoons. I can't believe that I was actually able to afford them, to be honest, because they do so much damage. Oh, yeah. This is also early access, so I, I probably should not rave about a particular weapon too much because you know what's going to happen then. They're going to get nerfed, you know? They're going to get nerfed. Don't nerf my loving, lovable, wonderful, happy harpoon hugs that I'm throwing at the enemy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very deadly hugs indeed, aren't they? Whoa, okay. Oh, not a, not an instant kill this time. Oh, interesting. Not an instant kill. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't know why that was. But, uh... Oh, and now I'm super worried about throwing these harpoons into my own men, because... Let's face it. If I am going to hit someone here, it's more than likely I'm going to hit one of my own guys, and it's probably going to be a headshot, and they're probably going to die instantly. So it's nice that... <laughs> You know, maybe I didn't do that this time around because it's, ha it's happened, you know, it's happened before. We plundered 158 gold this time, which is pretty good. Anyway, and let's just loot everything that we can get our hands on. Okay, fantastic. More mountain bandits over there. Got to be a bit careful of those guys. And I'm going to go over here because I'm a bit worried about bandits in general, the mountain bandits specifically because they're really powerful. So let's just try and recruit some more Sturgeons right there. And we can also sell some of our loot too, which is great. So let's just sell as much as we can. Pilgrim's Hood, no, don't really want to do anything with that. And there we go. Okay, we're getting almost 300 from that, which is actually pretty nice. Let's get some additional grain because we can... And that's what I want to do with that. Okay, so yeah, most of my troops are a bit knocked unconscious at the moment. Some of them are. So we probably don't want to get into another battle just yet. But I would like to get to the end here. Aha! Wait a minute. There is actually something that I want to spec into here. My throne weapon proficiency is now at 52. So I will now be able to get Skull Crusher, which gives me 20% increased damage on headshots delivered using throne weapons which I think is fantastic. So I will be taking that immediately. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a whole bunch. I like the new skill system and the way that skills work and level up. I think it is very fun. I think it is very, very fun because having the ability to do the Elder Scrolls style of things, and I'm talking about uh, Oblivion more than, more than Skyrim here, maybe. But anyway, the point is, is that it's got a very... Elder Scrolls feel to it in, in the way that it levels up. But it's a bit different in that way as well. It's not exactly the same. So that's also cool. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.